Know that, my guy. You feel me? We're a strong, powerful country, my guy. We're going through what we're going through, but we're going to be okay. Listen, I got to get out of here, my guy. I got to record my video, okay? I got to let you go. Keep your head up, man. Keep your head up. You're going to be all right, my guy. YouTube. Hey, everybody. You guys know who it is. It's cute. And you know how I do when I'm eating with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of Q Food Reviews, and like I always do, faithfully, constantly, and consistently. Let me start off by saying thank you to my subscribers. I most definitely want to say thank you to all the new ones as well. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching, and welcome to the team, my baby. <laughs> hey, Q Nation. How y'all feeling? All 2.9K of y'all. <laughs> yes, sir, baby. That's right, Q Nation. We're steadily growing, and it's a beautiful thing. We're right around the corner from 3,000K, and oh, I can't wait. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Q Nation, listen to me. Uh, we're getting ready to get our snack on in this video. Okay, Doritos to drop the new flavor on us, all right? Along with Fago, they dropped a new beverage too, so I'm going to bring you a two-in-one today, okay? And before I end the video, Q Nation, I was asked my thoughts and opinion on this certain situation, this certain topic that took place. I didn't like it, and I'm going to share it with you about it, okay? So for right now, let's get our snack on, shall we? How y'all feeling, Q Nation? Y'all okay? I hope everybody enjoying their weekend, staying safe, okay? Because COVID is real, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are still masking up. Still practicing social distancing. Keep your hands sanitized, okay? Keep yourself clean and keep yourself safe and protected, okay? Now let me show you guys what I'm working with. Yeah, Q Nation, we all need uplifting from time to time. This pandemic got us going, you know what I mean? It, it really got people going in a frenzy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, at the end of the day, you know, I tell people all the time, you just got to keep your head up. You follow me where I'm coming from? Just leave it in God's hands. Just leave it in God's hands. Now, Q Nation, these are brand new from Doritos, and they're called Doritos Tangy Ranch. I ain't never had these before, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't never seen them before either, okay? So I'm going to give you guys some nutrition facts. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinion, and I'm going to let you know what I think about them, okay? These are brand new from Doritos, all right? With the calories right off top, we're looking at 150. Total fat is 10%. Saturated fat is 6%. And cholesterol is zero, all right? These are a flavor on another level. I ain't never had them before. So I'm finna give you guys my thoughts and opinion, let you know what I think, all right? So let's get them. We're gonna get straight into them. Okay? This is how they look on YouTube. All right? Now, how they look with the aroma alone okay they smell a little spicy you know what I'm saying they got that little tangy type of aroma to them and this is how they look they got like that little fiery type of coating on them but I'm curious so let's see what they taste like You do right off the bat. If you're familiar with Cool Ranch Doritos, right? Just doing a comparison. They taste somewhat similar to them, but they have a tanginess to them. And I guess that's why they call them Tangy Ranch, because that's what you're getting. When you pop them in your mouth, you nation, they taste somewhat similar to the Cool Ranch version of them, but they have a kick to them. They have a little spice to them. So far, so good, Doritos. Mm-hmm. I like them. I like them. And you guys already know, you love him some spicy food. So listen to me, guys. I'm going to scale them on the fire. What do I think? Doritos, y'all got my attention with these. I like them. I'm going to give you guys a fire. Okay? I like them. And what I suggest, you guys, pick them up. 
give them a try. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think. Yes, I do. These is brand new from Doritos, and they're called Doritos Tangy Ranch, okay? Don't knock them until y'all try them, all right? I like them, but I want to know do you guys like them, okay? Now, what I'm going to take and wash these down with, you too. Let me make a suggestion to you, okay? This goes for any beverage. Before you drink it, put it in a freezer or a cooler first and let it get nice good and cold Q Nation. Oh, you will love it. You will love it. And what I'm finna take and wash these down with Q Nation, this is brand new from Fago. And this is called Fago's Fireworks, alright? Ah, look at it, my baby. Don't it look good? Yes, sir, it look good and cold. Look at that frost on it. Didn't I tell you? Put it in the freezer first and let it get cold. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. Q Nation, this is Fago's beverage for the summer. Okay? I'm able to bring it to you now. We just now got them in stock. All right? And this is called Fago's Firework. This is a natural flavor soda pop. Okay? It's caffeine free. All right? I ain't never had it before and it's the first time for everything on this. Let me give you some nutrition facts. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinion. I'm going to let you know what I think. With the nutrition facts alone, we're looking at 180 calories, sodium, okay, is 16%, all right, total fat is 0 grams, and protein is 0 grams, and all of that is here on the back of the label for yourself, so you can see it, okay? Now, Q Nation, I ain't never had it, so here it is, the first time for everything, I'm going to pop this top, and look at that smoke, see? That's what happens when you put it in the freezer first. That smoke just come out. Mm. Hey, Q Nation. The reason why they got that popsicle right there, that's what it smell like. Okay, if you familiar with how, you know, like these popsicles, like they sell them off the ice cream truck all the time. And if you familiar with the aroma, how they smell, that's what it smell like. Like a fruity type of aroma to it. But I want to know what it tastes like, okay? It's it's clear, all right? I ain't never had it, but let's see. Get a... Mmm. I like that. Yes, sir, baby. Right off the back. Q Nation. If you're familiar with how these popsicles taste, right, these right here on, on, on the bottle, that's exactly what this tastes like. And I'm serious. It tastes exactly like this popsicle. You follow me on where I'm coming from? I don't know how they was able to get this texture together on this, but it's not real acidy. Like, it's not real strong, Cunation. So it doesn't consist of a whole lot of acid. It doesn't consist of a whole lot of that. It tastes like a popsicle to me. So far, so good, Fago. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. I like that. I like that. Q Nation is smooth. Mmm. It's crisp. It's refreshing. I like it. I like it. And what I suggest you guys pick it up, give it a try, and let me know what you think. Yes, I do. Fago from a scale of one to five. I was gonna say good morning to you. I had this pop in my mouth. You all right, bro? Yeah, I'm all right. That's what's up. From a scale of one to five, Fago, I like it. I'm tell you what. I'm gonna give y'all on this Fago firework. I'm gonna give y'all a five. All right. I like it. It was something new. It was something different. We just got them in stock. You know what I'm saying? So uh, come in and get them, ladies and gentlemen, while supplies last. This is called Fago's Firework. All right? And again, it's a limited time only. So hurry up and come on in and pick them up while supplies last, okay? So pick it up, give it a try, and let me know what you think, Q-Nation, because I like it, but I want to know do you guys like it. I ain't going to hold you up, y'all. It's something new, something different. It's smooth and it's good, too. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, pick up Doritos Tangy Ranch, alright? 
Neil. Ah, yes, sir, baby, because it's nothing but the best, okay? Two good, brand new quality products that's out. Pick them up, give them a try, and let me know what you guys think about them, okay? <laughs> yes, sir, baby. Pick them up, y'all. Okay. Now, Q Nation, there's something I would like to share with you guys in this video. Okay? This is a very serious topic. I was asked my thoughts and opinion on it. I'm getting ready to let you guys know what I think, okay? Give me just a few minutes. Let me grab my apple juice and we're going to chop it up and I'm going to get ready to end the video. Nation, um, there was a situation that took place with the individual uh, by the name of Brother Polite. Okay, and let me share with you what this individual did. Okay, allegedly, allegedly. All right, uh, Brother Polite. That's what you call yourself, right? Well, what you done, that wasn't too polite. And I didn't approve of that either, my guy. Q Nation, what Brother Polite did, allegedly, was assaulted and raped a 14-year-old girl. If you don't believe me, Q Nation, go to Google, type in Brother Polite arrested on assault charges on a 14 year old girl okay and you're gonna see what's gonna pop up this is the latest topic that's trending right now through social media and it caught my attention because I love our beautiful young black women and can I share something with you Q Nation and fellas uh, it, 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 it's touched me because I have a daughter and I have a little sister okay and I pray to God that they don't have to go through and experience nothing like that. Fellas, can I share something with you? What I mean is, and it's facts. Facts. I was blessed, fortunate enough throughout my life to be a ladies' man my whole life. Fellas, I was having sex at a young age because the favor that was upon my life with women. They wanted to give me some nookie at a young age. <laughs> what? Stay with me, fellas, okay? Stay with me. They was giving me nookie at a young age, and I was so blessed and privileged to get me some nookie <laughs> at a young age to where I never had to take it. You stand with me, fellas? I was so blessed and privileged by women still to this day that's why I'm not married yet, because I'm loved and wanted by more than one woman. I never had to take it, fellas. You follow me on where I'm coming from? Anytime a woman would lay down and give herself to you, it's a privilege, my guy. You shouldn't have to take it. You shouldn't have to drug her up. You shouldn't have to have her intoxicated for her to want to give it to you. She should want to give it to you. From, 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 from her heart, bro. You shouldn't have to take it, man. She should be wanting to give it to you willingly. You follow me on where I'm coming from? And if you play your cards right, my guy, she'll do that. <laughs> oh, you ain't got a car. She'll call you. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you that, my guy. Okay? All right, so... Q Nation, the reason why I'm having this conversation with you is because all the fellas that's watching this nationwide, if this woman 
is not willingly to give it to you, don't go trying to take it. Don't do a Bill Cosby. Don't go drugging up women and things like that. That ain't cool, bro. That ain't cool. You follow me where I'm coming from? You want to wait till she pass out to go forcing yourself on a woman? That ain't cool, bro. That ain't cool. You play your cards right. You ain't got to force yourself on her. She going to force herself on you. <laughs> Boy, I know the real fellas that's watching this video looking at me like, you got it. Because it's facts, bro. Facts. I done ran away for some nuki. <laughs> And if you're not careful enough, the real fellas know what I'm talking about. If you're not careful enough, that woman will kill you in the bedroom, dog. <laughs> Woo! I know the fellas like you, ain't mine. Am I lying, fellas, boy? You handle your business, boy. You can't get rid of them. <laughs> hey, fellas, watch this. You handle your business. This is the reaction you get where you going. Who is that on your phone? Where you at? <laughs> See, all the fellas that got them a woman, a fiance, baby mama, whatever, can relate to what I'm saying. If you ain't got a woman, then I guess you wouldn't understand where I'm coming from. But fact of the matter is, fellas, I'm saying all that to say this, man. Women are a gift from God, okay? They're givers of life. They're precious. You follow me where I'm coming from? In the times that we're living in now, we need to be loving our sisters, especially the young ones. You know what I'm saying? Not raping them, not abusing them. They're going through enough in society as it is. What are they labeled? I don't mean to say this, quote unquote, but it's true. What, what are they labeled? You know what I'm saying? So just having that stigma. Good morning, homeboy. Chilling, chilling. So just having that stigma, attaching them alone, it's hard on them as black women. You follow me where I'm coming from? They label this bitches and hoes, all right? Let me just be clear about it, okay? And I'm not going to edit or blurt nothing out, all right? I just won't say it again. That's what they label, but to me, they're beautiful princesses, okay? In some cases, some of them behave in, in such a manner, okay? I label that ratchet, but at the end of the day, they're all black, beautiful queens and princesses to me, all right? And fellas, I never had to rape and drug a woman to take it like what Brother Polite did. Did I approve of what he did was okay? No, it wasn't. That wasn't cool at all, bro. That wasn't cool at all, my guy. You feel me? What you did, that wasn't right, man. And I just feel like you shouldn't have to take it from a female, bro. You know what I'm saying? If she not willing to give it to you, you shouldn't have to take it. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. Come here. I'm doing my YouTube channel. My name Q. What's your name? Dez. Dez. Have you ever had to take anything from a woman? Come here, Dez, so my, my subscribers can see you. Look in the camera. Oh. Brother Polite raped the girl, bro. Have you ever had to take it from a woman, Dez? Never think. What's we'll say, Ted? You play your cards right there. Come give it to you. Exactly. There it is. Enough said, Ted. Appreciate you, my yeah. guy. Have a good morning. See what I'm saying, fellas? See, you play your cards right. You ain't got to take it. She'll come give it to you. So, I'm saying all that to say this, fellas. You know, let's love our women. Be good to them, all right? Let's don't rape them. Let's don't do them like that, all right? You seen what happened to R. Kelly. <laughs> That ain't good. You seen what happened to Bill Cosby? Woo! That wasn't good either. And you don't want it to happen to you. All right? So I'm saying all that to say this. You know what I'm saying? Think with this head, fellas, not with this one. <laughs> all right, I'm getting ready to get out of here, Q Nation. All right, I just wanted to share that with you. That was my thoughts and opinion on that. Okay, from time to time, subscribers bring certain topics to my attention and I address it. Okay, because that's what I do here over here on Q Food Reviews, because that's what we do. All right? Q Nation, I'm going to get ready to let y'all get out of here. When y'all get a chance, don't forget to pick up these two items. I want you guys to check them out and let me know what you think, okay? This is from Doritos, their new Tangy Ranch, and this is from Fago, and this is called Fago's Fireworks, all right? So pick them up, give them a try, and let me know what y'all think. Don't forget, okay? Now, before you get out of here, Q Nation, there's something I want to share, and I mean this truly. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're growing, all right? We're right around the corner from 3,000K. Can we do it? Yes, we can, all right? Share my content, Q Nation, all right, with a friend, a co-worker, a family member, Ask them to subscribe and join the team and the family.
thank you. God bless and peace. Q Nation, I love you all, all right? And don't forget, y'all, hit that like button. Oh, what y'all thought I forgot? <laughs> no, sir, baby. Hit that like button, y'all, okay? And ask them to subscribe and join the team and the family. Thank you. God bless and peace, Q Nation. I love you all. Y'all be safe. Oh, and Q Nation. Oh, almost forgot. If you guys don't mind, I'm not giving you a lecture, okay? But it's facts, all right? It's facts. It didn't go nowhere either. Do this, Q Nation, if y'all don't mind. When you step out, go pick up your essentials. It only take a few minutes. I know y'all getting tired of it. But what are we supposed to do, Q Nation? All right, when you step out, don't forget to wear your face mask, okay? Keep your hands sanitized. Keep yourself clean, all right? We're going we gonna to get through it, Q Nation. We gonna we gonna we gonna overcome. You know why? You know why we gonna overcome Q Nation? Cause cause it is. This this is what we is. USA. All right. We one of the most strongest, powerful nations in the world. We gonna overcome. Thank you. God bless and peace, y'all.